What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for Sega Genesis? Sega! And so it was, late in the 20th century, that a pox fell upon the land. A plague of home videos that were limited in intelligence. The maker looked down and was not pleased by what he saw and said, This is not good. And so it was, he brought forth Genesis. Yes, the Sega Genesis, the 16-bit David to Nintendo's Goliath. Let's face it, there was no one that quite took a notch out of Nintendo yeah. like Sega. <laughs> wow. Uh, and who knew, you know, back in the time when like Nintendo was resting high, I mean, they never expected anyone. Well, that's because Sega does what Nintendo I was, don't. I'm so waiting for that. <laughs> Well, just like our Super Nintendo $100 video game library, this is the Sega Genesis $100 video game library video challenge thing. Thanks, Shatner. So the idea for this came from one of Mega Dan 29's videos where he did a couple of consoles, actually showing what he would put in his game library for $100. Yeah, I farted. 10-4. <laughs> And the reason I did this was because I'm not overly familiar with the Sega Genesis. Mm -hmm. You probably know a little more about its history or its game library than I do because you grew up with one. Yes, not I by knew choice. That had one. <laughs> <laughs> we had a, a regular Nintendo one day and I came home from school and then there was a Genesis. Surprise! <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> but it's more than likely one of those things where my dad was suckered in by a salesman trying to tell him how much better that Sega is. <laughs> and so my dad was like, oh, okay. Wow, Sonic's fast too. No, over here! I like Genesis and it costs a lot less. We are going off of video game price charting as far as the values of these games as of September 2022, which is when we are filming this. These were the <laughs> video game price charting prices for cart only Sega Genesis games. So even though some of these are going to be in their clamshells, we're going cart only prices. Okay. All right, I've got $100 to build a collection. All here. right, you better do a good job. That's all well, we get to play. Well, one of the first things I wanted to go for was Land Stalker. Now, Sega wasn't as known as Nintendo for some of their RPG offerings. The first thing that caught my eye with this was it very much made me think of Zelda, you know, with mm -hmm. the look of it. It's got that isometric view, but that's where the comparisons oh, yeah? kind of end. Yeah. This game is much more of a platformer, so an oh, action RPG. I'm out. Well, I tell you what, I was just about out because of that weird isometric view. Look, trying to jump with that view, it's never good. Uh, pro tip, if you have a joystick, it makes it a little oh, easier okay. than trying to use a directional pad. So there's that. Again, cart only. Now this was a big boy at $33.68. But I did want to get some kind of RPG feel because Whenever you have a game like that, you have that longer form gameplay that you can rely on to maybe keep you busy for a little while. He's very muscular. Oh, that, I mean, that elf works out. Does he have elf ears? He does have elf ears. This is like Lord of the Rings elf, not like little tiny, tiny elves. <laughs> Keebler elves? Keebler elves. <laughs> Okay, so that was a, a big chunk of our price at $33.68. Okay. But going very cheap. Cart only. Cart only. $3.83. All right. Ms. Oh, Pac-Man. She's cheap. Oh. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Sorry, Pac-Man. You heard it here first. Man, you see that Ms. Pac-Man? Yeah, I seen her. I seen her again. You know what I'd like to do too, Miss Pac-Man? Yeah, I I hear you. Yeah, yeah. I'm grab thinking... her, grab her, and turn her into a banana peel. <laughs> I mean, what more can be said about the arcade classic, Ms. Pac-Man? A lot of people prefer the additional speed boost that you have in Ms. Pac-Man versus the original mm -hmm. Pac-Man. By the time we got to the 16-bit era, we were really seeing these arcade classics done right at home versus some of the you know previous yep. offerings 
And this one even has one to two players. Nice. So not only do you get that near endless arcade action of a Pac-Man game, mm -hmm. but you got some co-op love as well. Well, and you've got to represent our wedding anyway. Oh, that that it is was a theme at our wedding. That is so. true. So there we go. There mm -hmm. we go. Come on. It's Aladdin yeah. on Genesis. How much fun is this game? I mean, in short, Disney 16-bit gaming days, like so many awesome. Actually, I tell you what, Disney 8-bit and 16-bit yeah. games. Everything from uh, the NES Little Mermaid, yes, one, one of, of your my favorites. favorites. It's gorgeous. It sounds amazing. This one is a lot more action and combat oriented than the Super Nintendo version. This was at a time in which a game like Aladdin would come out on both systems, and it wasn't just a port. This was a completely different game. Which is always, I Nintendo. think, more fun. Oh, yeah. That way, if you do have a buddy who has the Super Nintendo, and you have the Genesis, you both can go to each other's houses and play the same different game. To this day, I would still love the combat and the puzzling, the platforming of the Genesis version, combined with the ever crisper visuals, in my opinion, and the parkour elements of the Super Nintendo game, you'd have like the best Aladdin <laughs> game ever. And come on, it's Aladdin, it's a great movie. Oh, and best of all, cart only for Aladdin, an amazing game, $8.60. Oh, nice. So yeah, after that big one, we're not breaking the bank with these two. Well, I mean, he's a street rat, he can't be too pricey. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Riff raff, street rat, I don't buy that. Next up, The Lost Vikings. Oh. This is such a fun game. Now, it is co-op, but good luck with that. This is a tough game to try mm. to play with someone, so uh, you'll probably just have to sit back and watch me get frustrated on my own, because this game does frustrate me, like, in all <laughs> the best ways. This is a very curious puzzle platformer. You have three Vikings, and you have to get all three to the exit and each of them has a different skill that will get you there. Whether it's a shield to block attacks or to use it to uh, give someone a little extra boost in their jump. Whether you have speed or jumping capabilities or if you have combat capabilities with a sword and a bow and arrow. The bow and arrow which can be used to hit switches across the stage. This thing will mess with your mind. But there's one point where you have to get one viking over to a switch that has to be pressed, but he can't press it. You have to use another Viking to shoot an arrow. Once it goes off the screen in video game logic, it forgets that it exists. But if you shoot the arrow, switch to the character that's by the button, as the screen is panning to him, it follows the arrow and then boom, now you click it. Who would have thought of that? <laughs> but because of the challenge, and there are a bunch of levels, I thought this would be a great game for some replayability. And mm -hmm. hey, if you get too, you know, cocky with it, well then bring someone in. There you and go. See if the two of you can do it <laughs> together. Good luck with that. <laughs> so card only the Lost Vikings, $14.34. We're getting pricier. Just just a little bit. Jumping just up a little there. Bit. <laughs> hey, you're spending all me money. I kind of feel like she would get up and walk out on me if I didn't include my favorite game of all time. Zombies ain't my neighbor. It's not even a solo game. No, you, you can, can do, play duo with it. But you're killing all kinds of monsters, all the, the pop culture references and everything. Even with the passwords, we still never got <laughs> to the end. Well, You know, the problem with the password system you lose all of your stuff. Yeah, you do. So like, you can amass all these weapons and take down your password, but when you come back, that password yeah. only takes you to the level you were on. It doesn't remember your weapons. Yeah. Which stinks, because it's yeah. like you build up such a cache. Speaking of cash, cart only, twenty-seven ninety-five. It's a pricey guy. But this is one of those games that has such longevity to it. It does. That and it still has a, you know, still to this day, it looks good in my opinion and has a really good soundtrack to it. Oh, it's it not really an does. irritating soundtrack, even though it's, you know, more of that video game kind of sounding kind of music. We've got a pretty decent lineup right here. We've got a right pretty good here. lineup here, yeah. yeah. Naturally, I had to be a little bit sneaky with the last one, just like in the Super Nintendo one. I went with the Genesis <laughs> 6 pack. First of all, get this, cartridge only, mm -hmm. $11. Wow. September 2022 video game price charting, 
cart only Genesis six pack, $11. That gets you Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh. Golden Axe. Oh, my favorite. Streets of Rage, Revenge of Shinobi, Columns, and Super Hang On. Love. When I games. first started collecting video games, this was one of the first Genesis games I ever got for exactly that reason. You've yeah. got a Sonic game, you got a Shinobi game, you've got Columns, you've got Golden Axe, Golden Axe Streets of Rage. I mean, these are like staple Sega games. And to have them all in one place, not only is it convenient, but at $11, I mean, that is an amazing deal. These are great games. Golden Axe, one of your favorite beat em yes. of all time. Love that game. Who doesn't love kicking a gnome so you can get some magic bottles out of them? Streets of Rage. You know, a lot of people always remember Streets of Rage too, mm -hmm. but the first one was really, really good. Another yeah. great brawler. Yeah, because, you know, eating an entire chicken to get health back, that's... <laughs> Such a great idea. Then, let me go out and fight people. Uh, did, did you just eat that garbage can rotisserie chicken? You bet your rage-filled ass I did. I needed more energy so I could bust more butts. Super hang on, so you've got a little arcade racing action right there, which still looks good to this day. Columns, you got another little puzzler. It's kind of... It was Sega's answer to Tetris, but it kind of played a little more like Dr. Mario yeah. with matching colors up. And then Revenge of Shinobi, fantastic and sometimes difficult side-scrolling platformer game right there. And of course, Sonic the Hedgehog. Because let's face it, if you've got a Sega Genesis collection, you would be a fool to not have a Sonic the Hedgehog game, am I right? Yeah. Hi, kids. How are ya? Okay, there we go. Pretty good lineup, guys. So, one, two, three, four, five, six... Ish. <laughs> ...games. And the grand total, $99.40. Ooh, you did even better than the Super Nintendo it, one. Guys, I am stretching that last dollar. There's like cents. Okay, you had a balance of 93 cents. All right. There you have it. Guys, let us know in the comments down below what you think of our selections. Maybe, uh, maybe you think some were a little foolish or something. Maybe, you know, you forgot about the Genesis six pack and boom, six games in one. I mean, hey, you could just buy this. There's your library, six games, and uh, take the rest of the money and go get that coffee. Of course I've been up all night. Not because of caffeine, it was insomnia. I couldn't stop thinking about coffee. I need a nap. <laughs> coffee time. Now, these are not tag videos, but if you would like to do a video response, I would love to check that out. Let us know what your $100 Sega Genesis library would be. Sega hit! I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I got a cough. I, I think I need it's, a lot of them. I need a, I need so a yeah, cough drop. All right. Well, guys, please, again, leave those comments down below. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I, I got Sega on the brain now. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public. Hit us up on the Retro Refresh where Sega Head is. <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> and if we like it... We nerd it. And I see what you're doing, and we're talking about Genesis, a.k.a. the Mega Drive. Mike Rouse, Retro Gamer Boy. Bye, nerdlings. Bye, nerdlings. Gosh, at least I've made mine coffee. <laughs> mm, coffee. <laughs> Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitter. Get ready. Stroke. Stroke. <laughs> Stroke. <laughs> okay. Danita Stokes, president of HAG. It's bad enough that Sega Genesis has the most 16 bit games, but this new Sonic the Hedgehog, oh, he really duck my doilies. They say he's incredibly fast. Well, what's the hurry, mister? Hmm? And about his attitude. Smarty pants. Why can't it be more like that nice boy, Mario? Oh! Little brat! Sonic the Hedgehog, now included when you buy a Genesis system.